entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here? All right, so start off, pick samurai. Uh, I mean, you don't have to, but uh, if you want two katanas, pick samurai, and I pick golden seed as my keepsake. Come out into the world and head straight to the church. You can grab a free smithing stone over here, and then make your way directly to the grace over at the gate front. When you rest, you're gonna get a horse. That's the whole point of making a beeline to this grace is so you can grab your horse and then a couple other things over here. So the ruins, you can grab the map and then the whetstone knife down low. I show it on the map. So there's the ruins, whetstone knife's underneath. Just set a stairs down, come back to the church and you're going to get your spirit bell let you use summons you start off with some wolf ashes but um we're going to be using uh, a different set of ashes uh, that will give us some bleed uh, come to this spot on the map you jump down the cliff there right at the beginning and you come down here and you can get this gold pickle foul foot and go to the death touch catacombs and you're going to run this route down to the uh, second katana that's why we pick samurai if you're wanting to uh, do wheel katanas which i do in this build so um, you can grab some of these crafting materials later so you can upgrade your um, spirit ashes. And just run in here, grab the katana, and then just let the skeletons kill you. Because you got no runes to lose, anyways. Uh, so then we're coming to get Blood Flame Blade. This is way further away, I'll show it on the map. Uh, you just run north around the castle, uh, and then if you get lost, you know, here's a spot on the map. And then you're going to come just north of there to, you'll see a dragon sleeping on this point on the map, just west of the academy. And grab the academy key. And that's how you get in the academy later, and then just run away from the dragon for now if you want. Uh, then we're coming up here and we're going to use our unsheath to get the hoarfrost stomp from that hidden scare beetle on this lake up here and this is even further north so you run up to the left if you get lost don't worry i'll link in the description the uh the entire run so that way anybody who wants to see the whole thing but here's the academy grace we so grab that and then a couple other graces here that'll be convenient later um before heading up to the the grand lift um and here we are at the grand lift and we are going to give be given the opportunity to go to the the round table now um, but yeah like i was saying if you get lost at any point don't stress because in the description i'll link the the whole hour 15 runs that way if you want to go through and see the route i took um you'll be able to see like you know if you're new to the game uh, this is just kind of a condensed version in case it's your second or third playthrough so back at the round table um so we're going to put on our hoarfrost stomp ash of war uh, which is going to be like a huge damage dealer for us early until we start upgrading our weapons. Uh, then we're going to come and grab the grace in the tunnels. Uh, now this is very close to the starting area, so we come here and we just grab um, some smithing stones. So first I'm going to use up all the golden seeds and uh, sacred tears in my flask to make sure I have as much flask as possible and that they heal as much as possible. And then allocate uh, 4 to 2 HP to FP. Uh, grab whatever smithing stones you can and then we're gonna head all the way down um, and kill the stone digger troll and then we'll show you on the map where we're at so right here and then we are coming outside of the academy to the merchant right outside the academy to get these fang dimp ashes and they cause bleed so they're pretty sweet too so if you want to use those and he's right right outside the academy gate show him on the map here So then we're going to go to this tunnel to get more smithing stone um, and just grab whatever stone you can on the way down. You see there's tons of it here. Um, so grab a bunch of smithing stone and then we're here mostly for this boss uh, because that boss will drop you the smithing stone miner's bell bearing. So now you can buy um, a bunch of smithing stone and upgrade your weapons. That's the first bell bearing we get and here it is on the map where we are. So then we're going to come to the uh, 
Two Finger Heirloom, which is a Faith Talisman. It gives us five Faith, and it's here in the Purified Ruins, um, just north of Stormvale. And then we're going to come up here, and we're going to get our Bloody Slash, our first Blood Ash of War. Um, and it's in the exact same location in Fort Height. Uh, in the exact same location you'll see when we get off the map here um, as the first Dectus Medallion that we get. So grab both of those while you're here. Then we're going to the third church where we're going to get another sacred tier and we're going to get our flask and now later on we'll get some crystal tears for that and I'll show you which ones I recommend but um, just grab your horse grab your horse take two and uh, head over to the small pond behind the church here and there's I'll show it on the map real quick okay third church and then it's just here just like northeast a couple steps um, in the little body of water behind um, so you're gonna take this way gate and travel and head over to Fort Faroth um, you just basically ride down the road past the dragon uh, come here and take this path that I'm taking here you just run past everything and I'll show Fort Faroth on the map in the second here so you can see where it's at there's a way gate's gonna put you out like the northeast side of this part of the map and you just basically follow the road down again if you get lost at all um, I'm gonna have uh, in the description a link to the full run to show every you know the, everything that I did so here's your second half of your Dictus medallion and here's Fort Faroth so basically you can easily just come down from the uh, northeast up there that that grace northeast is where we basically come out of that way gate Again, if you get lost, just go. I'll link the other video. You can just skim around. It's an hour and 15 minute run uh, or so, but this is the condensed version. So follow this path here, jump in. You're gonna have to uh, dodge this rat and then jump across back behind you, this little gap. And roll past these two. We're gonna let them kill us in a second here because it's the fastest way out of here. Uh, but we need the uh, Radagon Sorcio first. Uh, which is a talisman that gives you like plus five to a lot of important stats but we'll get to that later so uh, we're gonna for now ar go arcane to 10 we'll explain why later and go back to the grand lift now that we have both halves of the medallion uh, you're gonna head and grab this uh, blood blade ash of war if you want a second blood ash of war uh, and then head over and grab the smithing stone miners bell bearing 2 um, in the sealed tunnel, which will let us upgrade our weapons even further. So then we're going to go back to Fort Faroth and kill the sleeping dragon out front. Um, the gold pickled foulfoot is something you want to use when you get him down to about 20% health, and then you're going to finish him off, and it gives you a big boost in the amount of runes that he gives you. Uh, and he doesn't attack back right now, he's just sitting right outside of Fort Faroth, right in front of that grace. You just stand behind his tail there and just hit his tail until he dies. And um, instead of, you'll see it pop up, instead of like 64,000, you'll end up with like 96,000-ish runes. Thanks to that uh, foul foot, yeah, it's 96,000. Um, so now we have a ton of runes. We're going to go back and we're going to buy, so you're going to have some runes. It shows you in the on the screen their number held. We have nine. So here, since we have nine, um, we only need 15 to get us to 24. So we want 24 of each smithing stone type. Here we have five. Um, so because we have five, we're going to only buy 19. And then the same goes uh, for Smithing Stone 3. And that's pretty much all we can afford for now because we're leveling two weapons. Um, so we want to get to 20, so we need two more to get to 24. And now we have 24 of each of those. We can get both of these katanas to plus nine. So... Now we used up most of our runes, but we have two plus nine katanas. We're going to go over here, hit this little jar, and uh, basically exhaust your dialogue here until he gives you a medallion. Uh, this is to get a, a really good set of armor really early. I'm going to show you on the map where we're at. It's this little dark village area, um, very close to where we got Blood Flame Blade. 
again, if at any point you get lost, it's right here on the map. If at any point you get lost, remember, I'm going to link the the full stream from this in the description. So if you're first time through and you want to watch, you know, have the hour 15 playthrough, come back to the round table hold. You'll realize you're getting invaded. It's an NPC, just Horfrost stomp him to death. Um, and then the round table will go back to normal. Grab the Royal Remains set. Um, I put on just the armor, gauntlets, and greaves. Um, I don't put the helm on because otherwise we fat roll uh, this early without more endurance, which you can obviously do if you want, if you want to. Um, but that's if you're curious why I'm not wearing the helmet yet. Then we come over here to kill this Erdtree Avatar down on the Weeping Peninsula um, for what I think are the best two uh, tiers that you can use in your flask on this build. Um, I'll show this on the map. But I like these tiers a lot. This one, the bubble tier, gives you the... Uh, one shot mitigation so the first big hit it does almost no damage and the second one slowly regenerates your health and here we are on the map uh, the just south of where we first started on the weeping peninsula and then just off the cliff to the right there you can jump down and get a if you're wanting a shield uh, with 100 percent physical damage mitigation there's a shield right there it's right here on the map just off the left cliff uh, then you're going to come and not kill patches but get him low enough to where he surrenders and he will offer to like sell you stuff you have to leave you can fast travel right back here to the murkwater cave i'll show this on the map in a second come back talk to him again and he gives you something called market shackles which if you use it in the first like real boss fight you have and then again later in morgat um it will like hold them still so you can do a ton of damage to them so when you get to the market fight after buying these shackles um, it's great for new players, so you can dish a ton of damage out if you use this. Just put it on your, you know, by, by your flasks and use it during the fight. Um, and that's it. So now we're, you know, we've got two katanas that are plus nine. Uh, higher if you farmed more runes and, and uh, you know, went and took them to plus 12 because you have the option to buy them at the vendor. Um, you have, you know, Blood Ashes of War. You have this Royal Remain set, which gives you 27 poise and a ton of mitigation. Um, and you have a couple talismans to choose from. We only have one slot right now because, you know, we haven't killed Market yet. But as soon as you kill Market, get some more slots. Then you can put on, um, with your two-finger heirloom, then you can put on Radagon Sorcio, which will give you, as you see on the right there, 20 vigor, 18 endurance, 17 strength, and 20 dex right off the start. And then you have a flask that gives you complete immunity to the first big hit that you take uh and then steadily restores your hp for literally minutes um, so it's a really good start and we did all that you can see in an hour and 37 minutes and really much faster because you know i was while i was streaming that i you know i have kids i have you know other stuff going on so and i stopped and grabbed every map so that that way you guys wouldn't be lost when i showed where something was that i grabbed it um again though if you're wondering hey how do i get up to the horfrost stomp like how do i get up in that part of the map whatever um this is your very first playthrough then check the description i'll probably pin it in the comments too because a lot of people don't look in the description but um i will put the uh i'll publicize it was a private i just streamed it privately um but i'll publicize that stream so that way and put a link to it in the description and the comments so that way you guys can go and watch the hour and a half or so video and and jump around you'll notice that um uh i did things a little bit out of order on that though so like i accidentally killed the dragon before i got the second bell which for a new player you shouldn't do that's why i reorganized it for this video because uh you might lose all those runes when you go to grab um that second bell so you know it's uh this video is the 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 steps in the order that i would take that's really the only thing i think i did out of order but you know if you go watch that video and you're confused like why did he kill the dragon earlier on this video that's why i reordered it so that you don't have to worry about losing your runes so do it in the order that i showed in this video um you know and and we'll have it time stamped as kind of like a list like a checklist in the order that you should go um in the description and that way you can just kind of come back so okay i did this i do that next i do that next but you have that other video so if you're like okay well how do i get over there though you can watch oh he rode up this side or oh he jumped down the cliff on these things you know whatever um that way it'll hopefully help the people that are playing for the very first time this is uh, an insane build i'm gonna show a little bit more later of what it's like really capable of um this is the you know how to how to get it started this is like the base uh, of my build and then once you get into the capital and you can get a couple other things that's where you can take the bleed kind of to another level and i should have the like build guide later on 
tonight or tomorrow for my actual like you know like the end game the uh, bleed build this is just to get people started um a lot of people are still kind of new to the game and stuff and wanting to try bleed this is a good way to get yourself um ready to go tackle the game because i took this uh at level 25 i think all the way up uh, i just killed fire giant and i'm um, almost done what i did godskin duo so yeah i've got i'm almost done with the game with the at level 25 with this build and um i'll show kind of later the the variants that you can run and just kind of how much damage you can do end game so i'll wrap this up for now and then you know questions comments anything like that as usual just let me know i'm pretty active have fun guys